Well, people will live together because they can relate. If they can't relate, they leave. They don't pay a lawyer three thousand dollars to affect a separation. And the wife doesn't say, I want the car, the house, and the kids. <laughs> you understand? Because she has access to finances, house, everything. She doesn't depend on you. So if we succeed in getting a Venus project, say in America, the divorce rate will go way up right away. It's not that people don't like being married. They're trapped. If you've got three kids and your old man earns ten times as much as you do, you're going to say, well, you know, I just can't go out with the three kids. How am I going to live? Mm -hmm. So the reason the divorce rate goes up, I'd say that maybe as much as 70% of married people don't agree. They live together sometimes in hatred. Mm -hmm. And so that isn't good for people. But that's, that's not only And then the guy with the white collar that pronounces you man and wife, he has no right to do that. In the Bible it says, a couple joined by God cannot be put asunder. That is, if people really love each other and you tell them not to see each other, they're going to see each other. The guy with the white collar can't guarantee that. People will do what they have to do. If you don't like your wife, if she's a once a monther and you're a twice a nighter, she's going to say, I don't, I don't want to live with you. And that, that happens in the real world. There are no good or bad people. There are people with different preferences. Now sometimes a normal guy sometimes first comes in less than 30 seconds. His wife says, it takes me 20 minutes. Can't you hold off? He says, well, I can't control it. Just, why don't you come in 20 minutes? See, they're both right. So the wife says, why don't you see a doctor, a psychiatrist, maybe he can tell you. A psychiatrist say, why do you hate your wife? He says, I don't hate her. I'm just getting so excited I come right away. The psychiatrist says, well, don't you consider her? Why don't you think of something while you're having sex? Think of something else. What's the worst thing you can experience? He says, changing a tire in the winter time. So think of that when you're making love your wife. Your erection goes down a little bit. But every time he changes his tire, he gets an erection. <laughs> That's called associative memory. I have to speak this way so you'll understand what I'm talking about. Psychiatry will say, why do you hate your wife? You're depriving her of an orgasm. Or why don't you bring her up to a high and then enter if she takes longer? Well, all that's very nice, but the average guy can't do that easily because he's brought up he doesn't get laid when he's 13 years old, because <laughs> girls are taught not to have sex, and men are taught to have it wherever you can. <laughs> now, if you're screwing five women at the same time, men call you Don Juan. If a girl screws two guys, she's a tramp. Who wrote the book to men? They're full of shit. But I'm trying to tell you, women have feelings just as men do. But men make the laws and the rules. 